lesson eight three. It begins with uh, a term called a dot product. Now, what a dot product is is if you have a vector a and you have a vector b, it's how you multiply. And what's weird is you do not like foil here or anything like that. You just multiply x times x, y times y, but then you add them together. So it's x one times x two plus y one times y2 and you add them together and you get a single value. There's a term here orthogonal which means basically that they are right angles. They form a right angle. They, uh, it's only true if a times b adds up to zero. That would mean orthogonal. Maybe you have one vector that looks like this. Well the other vector would have to be either going this way at 90 degrees or this direction 90 degrees. That would make orthogonal if you had a 90 degree angle their dot product would equal zero. So that's a test to see if something's orthogonal or not. Example one, find the dot product of u and v if u is negative three comma four and v is three comma six. Then determine if u and v are orthogonal. So to set up the dot product, what I'm gonna use is u dot v is gonna be equal to x1 times x2, so my x1 I'm going to put here is negative 3 times x2, which is 3, and then I'm going to add that to y1, which is 4, times y2, which is 6. So uh, negative 3 times 3 is negative 9, and then I add that to 24. Uh, 24 minus 9 will equal 15. So that means u dot v, the dot product, is equal to 15. Now, since it's not equal, these two are not orthogonal. And as I look at the picture, you'll see that, sure enough, there's not 90 degrees between them because it's not orthogonal. If that was 0, then that would be a right angle. So we have part B. Let's find the dot product of u and v given these uh, examples. So this time, u dot v will equal... Uh, x1, which is 2, times x2, which is negative 14. I put them in parentheses just so we don't get mixed up. Plus uh, y1, which is 7, times y2, which is 4. You multiply these two, we get negative 28 plus 28. This equals 0. So these are orthogonal because it equals 0, which means it better look like a uh, right angle, otherwise I've made a mistake. So, let's look at the picture. And sure enough, this time, they are a right angle. So here's now one for you to try.